This is the news for August the 1st of 2022. Boy, our year is going so stinking fast. What the heck is going on with this? Alrighty, so I want to kind of, of course, very first thing is give a big shout out to our new sponsors on the main channel, BookBolt. You want more details about BookBolt, make sure that you visit dalelinks.com slash BookBolt and use the coupon code for DALE20 to take 20% off for life. So long as you keep that account open, you keep the discount. And I'm going to tell you a little bit more about BookBolt here in just a second because they're part of the news segment this week. And that includes the free KDP interiors for low content book publishing, how to use them in your business. Yeah, BookBolt is going to hook you up big time, all right? They have all of these different free resources. They're kind of like me in that they really want to help you out and want to help you succeed on a new level. So make sure that you take a look at this. Obviously, a lot of these links I'm going to be sharing with you, I'm going to put it inside the description down below. So you can go ahead and take a look at this. Uh, love me some BookBolt. Uh, previously, you might have heard me talk about BookBolt and said, ah, I wasn't quite sure about them. And it's not like they just fanned a bunch of money over on me. And I was like, Hey, let's go ahead and go after book bolt. At this point, they actually really fine tuned their services and their templates and their customizability that I was like, you know what? This is actually really good. I really couldn't argue anymore. So if you're in a low content book publishing book, bolts, definitely going to be your answer. Now, uh, next up here is, uh, something in addition. Oh, let me just go ahead and share my login. How about that? Dale? That's smart. Uh, so let me, <laughs> yeah, we're only live right on the air. Who cares? Right. Uh, the other news when it comes to book bolt, you're invited to book bolts live Amazon KDP chat. So, um, the founder of book bolt is Neil Lassen and Neil runs a live video every week on Thursdays. I believe it's when they're going to end up doing it. So make sure you go over to their YouTube channel, subscribe to them, and you can learn a lot more about low content book publishing. They're dispensing pretty good advice and some stuff that I can stand behind. Really like me some book bolt. And you guys are going to be hearing more about them over the next, oh gosh, year. We're going to be working with each other for quite a while. Hey, just a heads up to you folks, those that are using author or excuse me, Apple books for authors, uh, there is a new tax regulation you have to be aware of. And in fact, let me go ahead and read it to you. The letter says in accordance with tax regulations in British Columbia, as of July 1st, 2022 remittances for sales on the bookstore in Canada are reduced by 7% provincial sales taxes on a Apple's commission for publishers based in British Columbia. Apple Canada collects and remits the tax to the ministry of finance in British Columbia on your behalf. Starting in August, this tax will appear on your tax on a commission statement in the payments and financial report section of iTunes Connect. Please note that the PST is in addition to the 5% goods and services tax that's currently deducted for your commission. If you're not currently utilizing the uh, Apple Books for Authors platform, I highly, highly, highly recommend you definitely look into them. Uh, one of my favorite Amazon alternatives, and if you don't have that in your portfolio now and you're looking to go wide, Go right to Apple Books for Authors. It's become dead simple. It used to be that you had to have a Mac or you had to have some type of iOS system that you could, that was a repeat. Uh, if you have iOS, that you could do that. But uh, it, anybody that had PC or Android, they were kind of screwed. Now it's not the case, all right? You can now publish to that with no exceptions. Next item up in the news comes from the fine folks over at Publisher Rocket. Unfortunately, I'm a little late to the deal in sharing this with you, but I want to share some of the stats and information that they had shared in a more recent email. Now I've been a fanboy of publisher rocket for a long time. In fact, I believe I've actually had a license since 2017, maybe earlier. I'm pretty sure it's 2017. Uh, but here's some of the information that they actually shared in their email more, more recently. Did you know that one of the biggest users of publisher rockets data is publishing companies? Yeah. Any of you that have been out there, oh, you're such a shill for Publisher Rocket, blah, blah, blah. It's for good reason. It's a great product. If you are going to take your business to the very next level, if you're just a hobbyist, maybe it's not for you. All right. But if you're looking to really scale your business and optimize your workflow, Publisher Rocket handles your keywords, your categories, and everything else and beyond. Publishing companies, traditional publishing companies use this. It's true. Large, mid-level, and smaller publishing companies around the world have been using Rocket to make key decisions on which books to sign and how to better position those books for sale. 
And so can you. Publisher Rocket, as I had shared, will help you save time finding profitable keywords, discover secret Amazon categories most authors don't know about, research how much authors are earning on Amazon, and have more shoppers see your book thanks to Rocket's information. Now, this is the kicker. This is the part where I'm sorry, I'm a little late on this one. If you were to go and sign up for that, they actually will give you the free for free the keywords and categories course that Dave Chesson himself put together. Um, chances are very likely if you happen to have missed that, maybe reach out to their support where you didn't get that access. Um, reach out to support and say, hey, you know, is there any way I can get access to the keywords and categories course? Uh, you didn't get that tip from me though, all right? It's a little bit of insider information, if you will. Next item up in the news, give it a second, it's loading on up, comes from, oh yeah, I, it's it's not 100% finalized, but it's 99.9% .9 finalized that the other channel sponsors, and actually I will be talking them a lot more here on the podcast channel, and that is Miblart. Miblart is a cover design service, and I'm currently using them to put together my Kindle Vela series book cover designs. I'll be sharing more about that on the main channel, Dale L. Roberts. Uh, at any rate, they talk about an ultimate book marketing plan for indie authors, Oh my gosh, it is so detailed. Anybody that's new or even experienced will pick something up from this. This is so detailed. This is probably one of the best posts so far that I have seen about marketing your book. Everything from ideation to publication and in between, they share all the insights. Rather than gushing about it, I'd rather just send you on over there because I don't wanna spoil it for you. All right, next item up in the news comes from the fine folks over at Kobo Writing Life. Um, if you're not subscribed to the email newsletter, highly recommend that you do it because this is actually one of their emails here. And they talk a little bit more about types of events for writers, uh, writers conferences, festivals and retreats, publishing conferences and book festivals. And they discuss some of the things like online or in person. Now, if you're an introvert and you don't like getting outside of your house, I completely understand. I totally understand, especially with the panda mic that went, you know, over the last couple of years that, you know, people just don't want to, you know, make that risk. That's okay. This is what Kobo Writing Life's trying to share to you that you can still be able to have your cake and eat it too. You could be able to go and do those virtual conferences and think about just ways that you can grow and learn in this business. No, don't just stay watching Dale's channel and his content all the time because I am not the be all end all folks. I'm just merely like a disc jockey for self-publishing. I just go and give you guys the best of hits and just kind of give you some of the information that's all up to date and relevant. So Kobo Writing Life, really wants you to kind of do that. Hey, by the way, subscribe to their channel over on YouTube. They put out great content and they interview some awesome people. Moving further forward over here to the fine folks over at Publish Drive. Ah, Publish Drive actually shared a few key events coming up here this year. Uh, the Nink Conference, which is the uh, national, or excuse me, the Novelists Inc. Uh, Novelists Inc. Uh, conference that is based out of St. Pete over in Florida from September 21st to 25th. The Frankfurter Buchesmi, um, I am probably pronouncing that wrong. My apologies, uh, my apologies to the Germans over there, over in Frankfurt, Germany on October 19th to the 23rd and a place that I will be going later this year. All right. Las Vegas, Nevada for 20 books, Vegas, 20 books to 50 K is one of the go to premier events when it comes to writers and self publishers conferences. It's on November the 14th to the 18th. Make sure you put those dates on your calendar. At least put the 20 books, to, um, 20 books, Vegas on November 14th to the 18th in Vegas. Meet up with me. I'll be there in person. You'll be able to talk. The only other opportunity you're going to get to chat with me is through people of video. You can get details about that at people of I talked about that last week and I'm sure I'll talk about in the coming weeks here too. Moving further forward here, some news over from Inker's Con. Actually, it's still going on, the digital conference. If you haven't picked up a, a ticket yet, I highly recommend you do so. Uh, and they talk about working with a cover designer. This is great insights coming from pros that have actually walked the walk and they understand that just hiring a cover designer is not enough. You can't just go, well, I want to have this Werebear Shapeshifter, you know, cover and I make it look good. That's not going to work. And what they've done here with Inker's Con is just really... You just boiled it down to the things that you need to provide the cover designer with and also just to allow them to do what they do best because I think a lot of authors out there get in the way of their cover designers because they're like, no, I want to have this werebear shapeshifter breaking out of a gift that's 
burning on the sun out in another galaxy and in the front is gonna yeah just let them do their job you just need to be familiar with what your niche is and provide them with all that all that to say this inkers con actually covers this in detail all right moving another one further forward here this comes from the folks over at ebook fairs ebook fairs actually has some open fairs right now at this moment you can actually get yourself an account at dailinks.com ebook fairs yes that's an affiliate link currently the open fairs include this sorry it's not on the screen here folks it's actually in the email uh, they have a fiction fair. They have Happy 32nd Part 1, Happy 32nd Part 2, Tales Told in the Shadows. I imagine that's probably something to do with horror. Back to School, a Saunders Fair Part 2, Bilingual Fun. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Saunders Fair Part 1, Italian American Books, Romance Only, Dystopia Mania, and that is all of the ebook fairs. If you want to take part in these, you have to actually get yourself an account over at ebook fairs again dailinks.com slash ebook fairs and one last thing as we start to wrap up the news segment this week is the folks over at readz they have something going on every week and i like to inform you guys about this one how to write engaging characters that's on readz live go take a look at them wednesday august the 3rd 3 p.m to 4 p.m everyone loves masterfully crafted book characters but what does it take to bring one to life? Wrestling with fictional characters is a fa familiar pastime for experience as well as new writers, yet every reader who cracks open a book expects to be fascinated by the people they meet there. It's an ongoing struggle to create realistic characters who fulfill all the functions of story and resonate with the reader as well. Uh, so yeah, get a little bit more about that when you visit the links inside the description in the news segment. I want to thank you for sticking around on this news segment. And was there anything that you felt was missing? Was there anything you felt I was overhyping? Definitely would love to hear from you inside the